Hi all, my name is Will Faulkner. I hope you and your family are keeping safe from the coronavirus. Today I'm going to help you set up your home office. I've been running a home office set up here in Melbourne, Australia for many, many years. And today I'm going to share with you my five home office must-haves. Stay tuned. Number one, my laptop. Now, this may seem pretty basic and pretty straightforward, but a laptop is essential for home office. Now, I use a laptop over a desktop or an iMac. I just find the laptop more uh, transient friendly. I can take my whole office suite overseas with me. I've got everything backed up on local drives here if I need it and in the cloud. A laptop for me is a perfect solution and I use a laptop riser to bring the laptop up to eye level height. So number one, laptop. Number two to match my laptop is an external monitor. Now I've got a laptop which has got a retina display. My external monitor is an old school uh, Thunderbolt display just with the basic, uh, I think it's LED technology, but it serves the purpose. It gives me more real estate in my home office. Now I plug it into the laptop uh, port and I've got double the real estate or more than double the real estate. Now my external monitor, I pretty much use it all the time. It's just on by default. It's so handy just to be able to grab something and slide it across to your external monitor. So I highly recommend you getting a second monitor for your home office setup. Number three, a scanner printer. I use an all-in-one scanner printer. It was super cheap. It was like $60 at Officeworks and it does the scanning and the printing. And I'll give you a tip guys. I've been paperless or pretty much paperless for many years now. I use uh, the scanner a lot. So I'll scan all my invoices such as a fuel invoice when I fill up the car with fuel I'll scan it and then save it to Dropbox as a PDF now my accountant is hooked into my Dropbox folder and he can grab everything so it just becomes part of my workflow now to scan a document save it to a particular drive in Dropbox and whoever I want to share that with whether it be my accountant or, or someone else in your team they can go in and access it so we're pretty much paperless here and I highly advise you to get a home office uh, printer scanner all-in-one again they're not expensive so look into it what it will cost you is the ink the ink be careful when you buy one uh, try to buy, buy one that's cheap uh, to set up with ink cheap to refill with the ink uh, that was a tip that the guy at the sales counter gave me he said look you can buy this one here on the left or this one here on the right and I'll give you a tip it's not the cost of the printer that's going to uh, set you back over time it's the cost of the ink and he said this one uses way less ink and it's been a good tip it saved me hundreds and hundreds of dollars number four is an external microphone and headset now you're going to need this if you want to do decent quality video calls face to face and let's face it with everyone home based at the moment with the coronavirus you are going to need to do video calls sooner or later whether that be on skype zoom or some other platform now i use the rode usb mic on a boom arm and it's been fantastic i highly advise that setup. I also use a separate set of high quality uh, headphones or earphones uh, which are wired into the computer. You can use Bluetooth if you like and I, I think Bluetooth is a better way to go. It gets rid of all the cables but the main thing is guys to have a decent audio setup. Try and find yourself a nice quiet room, preferably a small room with not too many uh, big spaces so that you don't get that echo effect. The smaller the room the better and the more padded the more things that there are in the room the less echo you're going to get. But guys you really need that high quality or not not so much high quality I mean the the microphone I used was only about uh, $150 I think new you can get it cheaper secondhand they're all over Facebook marketplace by the way um, but you really need that decent audio quality the microphone quite close to your um, your mouth in the in the in the video call it's going to make a huge difference particularly if you are doing um, recorded screencasts for your YouTube channel and finally, number five in my home office must-haves are video lights. Now, I've got a video light to my left, a video light to my right, and a video light above, and that's a basic three light setup that you can do anywhere. I'm operating in a very small home office setup here, and if I can do it in a small office situation here, anyone can do it, believe me. I've got a chair, a living room chair, under this shot between the camera and me the camera is shooting over the top of the chair that's how tight it is in here and this backdrop is simply a cheap one i bought from china i wouldn't advise buying something from china right now for obvious reasons but you can buy it on um, ebay locally sourced and it's just a cheap uh, backdrop paper backdrop on a stand that folds up and tucks away behind the couch so guys video lights they will come in handy time and time again so I hope my five home office must-haves have helped you today. I wish you and your family all the best through the current crisis. Please stay home, stop the spread. If you can stay home, just avoid one trip. Who knows, 
uh, you know, what um, sort of pass on effect you may have stopped with that one trip staying home. So guys, please stay home. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link above or below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.